Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm joined by some of my staff. Um, TVL2 got, I'm not gonna say a big update, it's like more of like a patch update. <coughs> like for patches and stuff. <coughs> um, and then we got some things. So, of course, we got the ferryman, which I'll show, but I just wanted to go through some of the other, like, stuff before we end off with bearing it. Well, actually, should we do Ferryman first? That's kind of the highlight. Okay, let's do Ferryman first. So, you get to him. It's, like, near the Lockwood Mansion. But y'all should know that. Because it's, it's, it's literally right next to the Gilbert Lake House. So it's right beside Lockwood Mansion. It's, it's right here, is what it is. So let me show y'all. So once you're on the other side, you can see him. Okay. And then, Ferryman keep your souls. Cold air illuminates from this close-up figure, doesn't speak, but somehow can he communicate with this otherworldly creature. That's like the description of him. And then there's two options. You can either resurrect. Really, Rebecca, can you not block it anyway? Uh, and then, bro, you're in front of it. Thank you, okay. And there's a quest. So the quest is, there, so I don't know where they are. No one's really found where they are. No YouTuber, trust me, I searched. I couldn't find them when I like, went around the map. Everywhere, I couldn't find them. Um, but apparently there's five soul coins around the map. You have to collect them and bring them back. And then if you do do that, you get a hundred moonstone. But you have to do it before your soul moves on. That doesn't make, that's, that's it's hard, unless you know where they are can't really do it. I'm not gonna accept it because it's got out. And then you can resurrect. Fairman gestures as it went hand demands payment. The payment is 5,000 mystic coins. This is really expensive. They should lower this to like 1,000 because 5,000 is too much. But I understand like if you're a Ketsi or something and you don't want to get stolen, you can just go here and resurrect yourself like if you're on your last life. But I don't see in a time where you would ever want to use 5,000 Mr. Coins. I don't even have 5,000 coins myself. Anyway, Tyler, meet me back at church. Okay. So. For the like bug fixes and um, things that were added, let's go over the list here with y'all. Oh, I didn't have the server open. Ew. Okay, here. Okay, so Hope got a new ability, Solaris Impulsus. Uh, new private server commands, um, which are these. You can now bring people, bring all countdown day night free cam because it used to be only ban kick and some other thing now it's all this showcase like one two three i don't know made with love for mystic falls yes these are the new there, there used to be only like four ban it was like they had they put an s in front of so it was like S ban, S kick, com S like it was like commands and something else. But now we actually have a good amount of commands that will be useful. Okay. Uh, Fairman, we already went through a uh, new hope projectable ability. It's called Solar's Impulsus. A protected spell hopes summons a ball of light in her hands and throws it. 80 magic, 16 second cooldown. I was hoping when it said Solaris Impulses and the 
icon. I was hoping it was like gonna be like fuck us and pussa. Like, you know how Josie and Hope hold their hand and do fuck us and pussa. They haven't added that to the game yet. And, like, I think it'd be a really good feature. But they haven't added it yet. I don't know if they are. But this is what I thought it was. But this is what it does. So this is like me moving around with it and then. So it knocks the target to the floor for a sec, and I think it blinds them when they get up as well for a little. And then it does do a lot of damage for what it does. For what it is, it's literally just a projectile. You don't even have to wait for you to summon it. You can just. Yeah. So. For it only being like. It does a lot of damage. I could see this being used with like. Otis. Bro. Yeah. This could be paired well with Soul. Oh, it doesn't work like that. Ventus. You know? Well, that's just what it looks like. Can you use it? Let me see. Hold up. Can you use it with someone else? Not really. But yeah, it just pushes in the back lines in for a little. Okay. Next we got Hope's Explosion. So, Bukiyade was nerfed in one of the last updates. I don't remember. I think it was this one. But I don't think so because it's not here. But now it's nerfed more, right? I don't know. Explosion damage reduced by 20%. Reduced magic cost to 380. So. Who's at full health? So instead of it like basically like instant killing you ish, it doesn't look kind of does like. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, it's not auto ending. Okay, Hope Scream, because Hope Scream didn't really do much damage, so they increased it by 35% of the player's health. So it can kill vampire side creatures, not originals, if their health reaches their. Oh, so apparently, I didn't read this full thing, by the way. Uh, so if your target is a vampire, if their health reaches zero, it can kill them. That's, that's, that's like realistic sexual show reduced victim rigged all time after animation to six reduced magic costs yeah because hopes magic costs are like really high so i'm glad that they're nerfing it a little so this like a little bit more let's come back to it because i uh hold up The Kushu. 16 seconds. Let's just casually wait. Oh, do I not have my vampire abilities? Oh, I forgot I'm not a tribrid. <laughs> okay. Did it just desiccate you? Well, then why does it say it can kill vampire creatures if their health reaches zero? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's glitched or something. Hope repulse increased damage to uh to external counters. It's still it's still bad. It's still bad. Okay, blood blade. Yes, because remember it used to do like 20, 20 thirst per swing. Now it does five thirst per swing and fifteen percent 
So it depends on how much health you have. So every swing is 15%. So remember how it used to be like weak? Now it's like, okay. Okay, uh, strat, scratch changed damage. Still bad. Um, Tokenetic heart rip, reduced magic cost to 450. I'm not gonna say that because I only have one of my staff left in the middle of it. Where which stats aren't, yeah, because where witch stats used to be 600 health when she's a were witch and 650 when she's a tribe they nerfed it down to 300 which makes it easier for turning her but it also makes it easier for people to steal her as a were witch everyone yeah so you they did that because they don't want people vampire running in the other side going to the ferryman phoenix character is now moved to a fire damage Hybrids don't have access to yeah, because I was uh, silver dagger can now be put back in your inventory. You stay there. Oh wait, do you have an original? Power, do you have originals? Nope. Okay, so I can't really showcase them, but silver dagger is gonna be put picked up. So it used to be once you use it and you, you take it out of them, you don't get it back now, you do. Okay, fixed hope screen bug. These are the bug fixes. You can read them if they want, if you want to. Uh, the only current bug noted that they haven't, like that they've discovered, is Ketsuya's resurrection being bugged. So it doesn't work right now. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, my suggestion, don't spend your mystic coins on the ferryman it's not worth it Ra i rather buy candles or well stakes i don't really use um stakes to be honest. i stole that from someone in a game and of course since you're a hybrid it doesn't kill you anyway um yeah Anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.